Hello Voxel lovers and welcome back to another Vox Edit video. In this video I will be talking to you about the modeler. We use the modeler to create our simple models that can be used either within Animator to rig multiple models together or just to have these assets placed within GameMaker themselves. When we select modeler we are greeted with our recent files create new asset, open file, and import vox. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new asset. Once you have created a new file, you are greeted with this empty space, which is referred to as an empty object volume. This is where you will be creating your model. The default size is one cubic meter in the sandbox game maker scale, or 32 by 32 by 32 voxels. From the menu at the top, we can change the size of each dimension between 1 and 256. The game maker uses these volumes as bounding boxes. It is important to fit them tightly to your finished object using the trim button. Imagine the object you are creating is sitting inside an invisible box that touches the outermost points around that object. These bounding boxes are your collisions. You can use the animator to rig separate models together to make assets easier to interact within GameMaker, since each model will have its own tighter collisions. We will have a video talking just about collisions at a later date, so make sure that you have liked and subscribed and click that notification bell so you get notified for new videos. In both the modeler and the animator, the front of the asset must be facing in the same direction as the white arrow shown on the ground. So let's go into different modes. The pen tool is selected with create mo mode active. Left clicking and dragging anywhere in the object volume will place voxels with the selected color swatch. Voxels are linked to their swatch, so modifying the color in the material panel will automatically change the color of the voxels. The other three modes are Select, Paint, and Erase. Select highlights the voxel you choose so you can move, copy, or delete them. Paint will re recolor voxels that have already been placed with the color chosen. Erase removes and deletes voxels. The next section we have just below are our tools. We have the Pen tool. We have the line tool, we have the screen rec tool, which will modify voxels within that area. We have box tool, face tool, and flood. Further on down, we have the picker tool, which you can select the color of a voxel, and then it will take you back to the other mode and tool you were using beforehand. The pivot is what acts as the center of rotation for an object within the animator and game maker. The frame tool is used to designate an area to use with the image display or the NFT image components in game maker. These components will replace the texture of that area with the desired image or NFT. The modeler is for creating simple models or sections of models that can be combined with others in a larger project in the animator. You can create things like a simple book, mug, bookcase. These are what we call simple entities. They are made up of just one model with no animation and are not rigged together in the animator. This is the main use for the modeler to create single models that can be exported to the marketplace to be used in Game Maker as is or to add them to a larger model in the animator. We will have videos on the animator at a later date. Hopefully this video has helped you understand the basics of using the modeler and what the different modes and tools do. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. I will see you next time. Goodbye.